All right, now wouldn't it be great to actually have some expectations that we're gonna leave you feeling better about yourself? Well, I know that for the first thing that we get into when we run across a new client is gonna be setting the right expectations. And if you're in business for yourself right now and you just have been running the marketing all on your own, then there's gonna be some things I wanna share with you today that hopefully are gonna make your job just a little bit easier. Okay, I understand what it takes to carry the weight of not only moving the business, but also the marketing. And so. What I wanted to give you today was a little gift to help you see exactly what you are going to have to have so that you can remove yourself as much from the marketing as possible. Now, what we want to do is make sure that you understand you're always going to need to have marketing and sales. And so I'm sure you've seen that the more you put into this, the more you're going to get out of it. And this is why having a partnership or a team with somebody who's going to be able to help you develop these new ideas each month is super beneficial. So let's go over the ultimate goal. Right now, what you're going to get today is the four-part flow chart, I guess you could say, that's going to help you see exactly how to take people from prospective buyer to actual customer, okay? So what we're gonna do today is look at the very first thing is the prospect type. We all know we got three different prospect types out there, cold traffic, warm traffic, and past buyers. Then we have the front end of this, okay? Before we get into the front end though, let's spend some time on the ultimate goal. This ultimate goal that we see right here, if we look at how it's laid out, this is a timeline over the next eight weeks. Now this is not a timeline over the next eight hours or the next eight days. It's over the next eight weeks. And what that means here is that if you're watching this and you're thinking that you wanna turn these customers or these this traffic into customers overnight with no type of content value given or anything that they could see as value before they ever give you any money, right? Helping them with a result before they ever give you money. Doesn't matter if you're selling products right now, if you're selling services, you always wanna help them get something before you ask for something. It's always to give before an ask. And this ultimate goal here is to move them from week one to week eight in the smoothest way possible with an experience that's gonna get them to purchase from you long-term. So if we look at this, of course, they're gonna see the first ad. The first time they're ever gonna see your ad will be in the first week, right? Then you have week two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six uh, and seven and eight. And so when we break this down, you're gonna see that there's a lot of interaction. There's a lot of touch points. There's a lot of opportunities for you to gain more credibility. Now, the second phase is gonna be the front end, okay? Well, now that we understand what the prospect type is, we understand the buyer psychology, we understand the length of a purchase decision, then we're gonna get into the front end, okay? So now this front end, this is going to be where we're gonna be focusing on what platforms and what types of funnels and phases are we gonna be doing? Well, we have the Facebook lead gen, and on Facebook you could also do Instagram, right? So you have Facebook and Instagram, and also audience network and stuff like that. And then you also have the Google campaigns, which is also gonna be including YouTube. So we have Google, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook all running ads onto these uh, platforms. We're gonna be running the lead gen campaigns to the landing pages, the branding campaigns to some articles, and the sales campaigns to some sales pages. Now, this in all essence at a 30,000 foot view is our VPC method, okay? Where we're gonna be delivering value, the landing pages, what are we gonna be giving them? And then we're gonna put them through a process where we're gonna get them to know, like, and trust you with our branding campaigns, and then we're gonna get them to even further trust you when we get into business together because we're gonna get them to buy from you, and that's gonna come from the sales campaigns. So what we're doing is we're filtering down this bigger audience, and we're layering additional reasons why they should purchase along with credibility and big ideas and things that you're gonna use in your mission statements to help persuade them to see that, look, you're the best person out there for the job. And all this is gonna be done to a small group of people who have already shown interest in what you have to offer. So you're gonna be spending a lot less on looky-loos and a lot more on those that are wanting to purchase in the next four to eight weeks. And so now what we do is we get into the back-end automation where this is where you're going to actually see the results coming in, right? Now we get to see, okay, did the people that came from the sales pages, did they automatically get vetted? Now, this particular instance would be for folks who would be inside of consulting or agency services, right? Some type of professional services. So did they get vetted, right? Before you are meeting, do they know your pricing? Are they aware of what's gonna happen on your call? Do they know the next process? Are they fully aware? Are they decision maker, right? We wanna make sure they're fully vetted. Then we wanna get them scheduled and qualified, and if they are, do they become a client? If they are not scheduled or if they're not vetted or if they're not qualified, we're gonna send them some free resources to help them out anyway. 
Then we're gonna move them down to what happens after they become a client, which is now going to be a you know contract being signed, invoice being paid, and the onboard process. Now we do have a back end for those who have opted in but did not actually schedule right out the gate. Now this is gonna be a majority of the people, right? You're gonna get 80, you know, 80% of the leads, 85% of the leads that are coming through not to take that next step. So what do we do? We put them through a back end sequence where we're gonna have some downloads, we're gonna have the product or service reminder some goodwill, some survey siphons, some webinar invites, and possibly another couple double taps, which are just reminders of new offers coming from a new angle. Then we're gonna get into the sales, uh, after the sales process, then we're gonna get into the retargeting. So this is what happens when somebody does not become a client, but they've showed interest in your product or service. Well, this is where we're gonna hit them with the big idea, some case studies, some big idea in action. These are just branding videos that are gonna demonstrate how you can help them. Okay, that's basically what it is. And then we have phase three, which is gonna be, hey, are you still interested in here? Did you know that we also have these different packages? Oh, last chance to get X, Y, or Z. And then of course we have your PAS formula, which is uh, you know where we're gonna agitate and then give the solution we're gonna give. Uh, and then we're gonna give some aspirational stuff and then go ahead and agitate and then give some solution. And then we have some seasonal promotions. So we have all these things. So we have phase one, which is gonna be the value. Phase two, which is gonna be the pitch, and phase three, which is gonna be the close. So our VPC method all laid out right here for you. Now, this entire mind map will take what we've seen a lot of business owners up to about 90 days to get built out. So if you would like a complete plan, I'm talking about something that's built out for you from scratch, just, it's gonna be so nice for you. The lead gen ideas, we're gonna give you all the scripts, everything here, is gonna be laid out for you in a week by week format. And if that interests you, then all I want you to do is just find the button around this video and I want you to schedule your session with me personally, okay? I'm actually gonna spend about 30 to 60 minutes with you going through everything here and hand delivering, or <laughs> virtually hand delivering that 90 day sales and marketing kickoff plan. Okay, I wanna make sure that your next quarter gets started off right. So let's get this going into your arsenal because if you're carrying your business right now with the marketing load and you are also moonlighting as an entrepreneur, right? This is a hard task to have and to do by yourself or with just a one man team. So let's get together if you want a week by week layout for free, okay? I promise you, it's not sales pitch in disguise. I'm gonna give you everything you need to build this out yourself. And you're gonna get to see a lot more demonstrations, a lot more illustrations as well of things that you can do beyond this, okay? Even more in detail. So I'm super excited to hand this over to you. If you're interested in it, go ahead and find the button around this video and I'll see you on the meeting coming up. Take care.